Hello and welcome to our unit on the wind and atmosphere. Three days of notes for this unit. Our, our unit is wind and atmosphere. Our topic is atmosphere layers. Day one of three. Here's your objectives. Today you will know what an atmosphere is. You will know atmospheric composition, what our air is made of. And you will know how air pressure changes with altitude. And you will know the four layers of our atmosphere and that these layers are based upon temperature changes. Very important. Okay, so here we go. Pause this if you need more time. Remember, you can always move back or forward on YouTube with the slider bar below. All right, here we go. So for your quick write, every time you breathe, what percentage of the air do you think is oxygen? What do you think? Why do you think your ears pop when you go higher in elevation? Where do you think air pressure is greatest? On the top of a high mountain or at sea level? And what do you think would happen to a balloon as it rises in elevation? Okay. Go ahead and pause this while you do your quick write for five easy points. Okay. I'm going to move on. Okay. So an atmosphere. Simply put, an atmosphere is a mixture of gases that surrounds a planet. Many planets don't have atmospheres, like Mercury. Remember, Mercury is like our moon. However, some planets, like Venus, Earth, and Mars, have atmospheres. Below is Earth's oxygen-rich, thin atmosphere. And Mars is CO2, carbon dioxide-rich, very, very thin atmosphere. Okay? So, our atmosphere keeps us warm. Without it, our planet would be a lot cooler. Think of these gases as a blanket. It kind of insulates our Earth. It keeps us warm. All right, so that's an atmosphere. So, for your notes, what is an atmosphere? Okay, no answer bank for this one, so just go ahead and write the question in the answer on your notes. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, so atmospheric composition. Take a deep breath. How much oxygen did you just take in? Okay, well, it turns out it's about 21% oxygen. But what other gases did you inhale? Every time you breathe, you take in roughly 21% oxygen and about 78-79% nitrogen. Other gases include, depending upon where you live, small amounts of water vapor. Okay, If you live by the ocean or by a lake, you're probably breathing more water, water vapor, water as a gas. Okay, Or carbon dioxide, depending upon where you live. If you live near a freeway where cars emit carbon dioxide, you're probably breathing more carbon dioxide or methane if you live near a cow farm. So it's about 1% other stuff. CO2, carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane on average. Okay. So for your notes, what gases make up Earth's atmosphere? Okay. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the blanks here. Okay. Fill in these words in your answer bank and in your notes section, please. Reminder, you need six to get full credit. Okay, go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, air pressure. Why doesn't our air just drift off into space? Well, the answer is gravity. Gravity keeps our atmosphere and air from drifting out into space. Okay, so think of air pressure as the weight of the air pushing down on you. Okay, It's kind of like if you dive deeper in a lake or de dive deeper underwater. You can feel the pressure start to push down on your head. Well, that's air pressure. We don't feel it because our bodies have evolved to deal with this air pressure. Okay, So where do you think air pressure is greatest? At sea level or up on the top of a mountain? Well, let's graph it and find out. Okay, If we put some Okay, some, here's altitude, how high you go in our atmosphere, and here's pressure in millibars. So if you graph it, notice air pressure decreases, and after about 10 kilometers, air pressure decreases greatly. Why? Because air up here is so thin, or we say it has a low density. Down here at sea level, there's much more air molecules, making it easy for us to breathe. But as you climb a high mountain, it becomes very difficult for humans to breathe because the air is so thin. Okay, so that is air pressure. Notice most of the air molecules here are down below at sea level. As you go higher, air pressure decreases because the air is so thin. Okay, so for your notes, 
what is air pressure? Okay, question on the left hand side, answer on the right hand side. Okay, go ahead and pause this while you write. Don't forget to use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the blank here. Okay, I'm going to move on. All right, so our layers of our atmosphere. We have the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. The atmosphere is divided up into four distinct layers. Each layer is based on temperature changes. Okay. Well, in the troposphere, planes fly in the troposphere here. Okay. Not only that, our weather takes place. This is because air is the most dense in the troposphere. Air is the thickest, which gives us our weather, clouds storms, wind, okay, all that takes place in the troposphere. That's where all the action takes place, okay? Above the troposphere, we have the stratosphere, okay? And in within the stratosphere is another layer called the ozone layer. This ozone layer is very important. Why? Because it blocks out harmful UV radiation from the sun, okay? Making, this is nice because we don't want to walk outside of our house and get skin cancer, right? So, stratosphere. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere. The air up here is very thin, okay? You couldn't breathe in the stratosphere because there's not enough oxygen or air molecules to support life, okay? So, within the stratosphere is the ozone layer. And above the stratosphere is the mesosphere. Up here, meteorites burn up. Okay. Once again, the air is very thin up here. You couldn't breathe or live. Okay. And finally, up above the mesosphere, where air is very, very thin and there's hardly any air molecules at all, is the thermosphere. Up here, you get the space shuttle, where zero gravity begins. The space shuttle and the aurora lights are in the thermosphere. Remember those aurora borealises. Okay. The southern and northern lights take place in the thermosphere. Okay. Well, we're not quite done yet. Let's examine how temperature changes. As you go higher in the troposphere, temperatures decrease with elevation. Okay. And then it changes at the beginning of the stratosphere. The boundary between the troposphere and stratosphere is where it changes, and temperatures actually increase. They get hotter in the stratosphere. And then at the boundary between the stratosphere and the mesosphere, temperatures once again decrease again. So notice these temp these layers are based on temperature changes. Okay, and then finally, you guessed it, thermosphere, temperatures once again increase with elevation in the thermosphere all the way to space. Okay, how do we know this? We send a weather balloon up there with a thermometer. It's that simple, and it records the temperature. All right, so, notice the boundary between each layer is characterized by a temperature change as we get higher in elevation. Okay, so what are the four layers of our atmosphere? Okay, make this nice table here with four boxes and record this information. Once, remember to use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. So you have six words in your answer bank and you get full credit for your notes. Go ahead and pause this while you write. Okay, last one for today, I'm going to move on. Okay, so summarize. What I would like you to do is to draw this pie graph and fill it with the atmosphere composition. And then, okay, draw the layers of Earth's atmosphere and just label them. And then once again, do these two bullets down below. You can always do your own summary. Okay, you can always write your own summary, in fact I encourage you to do so, or you can use mine, up to you. Either way, you need to do your summary for 20 points. Okay, go ahead and pause this while you complete your summary, and we'll see you next time.